so what are the prerequisites or skills that you should have before you embark on the BTB journey? Yeah, sure. I can take that. Um, so essentially, what do you need to know to learn BDP, right? So first and foremost, um, you need to know what is BDP and why BDP is important, uh, which has been explained by the Bull or by Smith and Strategy as well. And it is essential to know that what BDP has to offer, and obviously, and, and SAP has uh, compartment, compartmentalized their portfolio into different pillars, right? And so according, accordingly, you as a developer or a manager or architect or a salesperson uh, can position yourself in this uh, fast uh, growing market. And once you have a grasp of it, you can deep dive into the area of your interest. Right. So it is a quick learning curve uh, in SAP BDP, uh, supported by uh, developer tutorial and help documentation from SAP education, uh, SAP consulting, free resources from such as Open SAP. Right. And so salespeople of, can do this too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, we might have some extra training off the uh, thing for you guys with me on that. <laughs> so, figure out yeah. what I can create. <laughs> Can and and as a developer, money? right? And as a developer, you always, uh, well, for myself, a uh, developer at heart, right? You always have a particular forte in your programming language. And SAP support various programming language uh, in application development, right? So you can name it right? Node.js, Java, Python, and even ABAP. And DevOps? With, what about all and that? DevOps, yeah. Yeah. So that even seems to be the you, key one I hear. That for that box? Yeah, definitely. It is one of the uh, services in BDP as well that user can easily uh, leverage that services and and run on your landscape. Hmm. Okay, so anybody can do this. All right, that's a good plus. So, um, so Kindle, can I yeah. can I add um, to what Chunan said? Right. So I want to give you a perspective that we did at SAP. So. We are, we are part of consulting, SAP consulting. So when we started several years ago, we, are in, we were in the same situation that a lot of our customers or partners are in today where it's all new. Yeah. So, and the number of services or products or tools that are available for consumption through BDP is huge. So the number one thing I'll say is don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed by the vastness of the, things that are available for you to use and learn. What I'd say is start small, start, take baby steps, start with what's familiar to you. So for example, if you're a UI5 Fiori developer today, be starting in BTP is kind of a no brainer. All you need to ramp up in is cloud flow application programming. Learn that model and you're good to go. Um, you are a PIPO developer today. All you need to know, understand is how you create an iFlow in cloud integration, right? So start with what's familiar to you and then build on top of that and learn new services. 